It is the reason why number three, under our digital superhighway program, we are expanding our digital hubs. Majority of our Tibets today have a digital hub. We have close to 140,000 young people in our Tibets today who are working online. I was very, very impressed when I went to one of our Tibets and I was telling the German Chancellor yesterday, when I went to one of our Tibets, and I found a young man there called Brian and he said, Mr. President, I am working for an AI company in Germany. And this is Brian who has not even been to Nairobi. He even doesn't have a passport. But he's working for an AI company and we are yet even to pass AI regulations in our parliament. But he's already way ahead, you know? He's already way ahead. Um, the conversation we were having this week um, was how we are going to work with Parliament so that we can begin to find a regulatory framework for artificial intelligence because we have so much benefit coming out of artificial intelligence, how we can leverage on it to uh, make sure that we have all that we, we need, but also it comes with fake news, misinformation, disinformation. How do we manage that? Because it undermines, you know, the benefits of technology.